Hey, welcome back to a rather nippy, cold, and let's face it, dank Oddie's Airsoft. It's now November as I'm recording this video, and that means, well, let's face it, that means winter's on the way. So we're looking at a bit of a clothing garment that's gonna help you this winter to get through it. Now, as you know, at this stage, Oddie's Airsoft, as a channel, loves Helicon, uh, Helicon Tex clothing. We absolutely think everything at the Helicon range is pretty cool, pretty nifty. So, what are we looking at today? Well, this jacket is the Trooper, and it's a soft shell jacket. Now, about 100 and odd videos ago, we actually reviewed, or I reviewed, the soft shell jacket, which was one of their original ones. And it was very much an overgarment. It wasn't really a standalone piece. Uh, it was great, and I really liked it. I bought it with my own cash, and I thought it was fantastic. But what sets this apart from that one is that this really does actually stand up to being a standalone piece without being just an overgarment, although you can use it as that if you want. Now, most of their jackets are very similar. They all carry the same militaristic styling. So uh, it's kind of, you know, you're looking for small variants that, you know, those little tweaks that turn you on to buy in that particular piece. Now for me, this piece is a cracking piece. I've worn it now for three weeks. I've given this a thorough good test and I've been out walking, hill walking. I've been out shooting in it. Uh, I haven't airsofted in it because it's the wrong color. This is a black piece, um, but I have to say, I, um, I, did, you know, I would airsoft in it if I was looking for that contractor look. But as I said, uh, I've really given it a good run through in all kinds of weather conditions from mild to very wet to very cold and I have to say as a system piece this works a treat. So let's run through a few of the specs of what we have. Well I mean it's the usual thing you've got the Velcro real estate which everybody knows about. It's not carried out on all of their jackets but as this is a real outer sort of garment they have put it on and I have to say kudos thanks because that's exactly where I'd like to be sticking anything that I wanted to put on it. Has a number of pockets, has um, two on this side, one on this side and it has then the old velcro here on the cuffs to tighten down to stop the wind getting in. Now they have finished off the cuffs a little bit differently. They've made the little sort of catches that go over in this real sort of very soft, very stylish. It's neoprene-esque material uh, that has a real soft velvety touch to it and then the helicon stamp is embossed or imprinted into it it's, it's etched into the the actual material itself and it looks really really stunning i have to say very classy so moving up the jacket you've got these two big huge pockets and they both have hooks in them if you need to clip any of your keys on and it also has two kind of pockets that will put in and you can put a mag in or an iphone or anything that you need to get, you know, like that loose change, if you have any, you can pop it in there and it'll kind of keep it more secure. On the very back of this piece, it has um, two poacher pockets, one on either side that goes through into a central compartment. So if you need to put anything big or carry anything into field, you can do. Now, as I said, this is a black uh, item. It comes in um, greens, it comes in the tan, it comes in, as I said, it, they have a whole range of colours now that, that this is coming in, so you've got something to suit every kind of taste. Now, as I said, this is kind of an out, outer garment, and yet it's a great as a standalone. During the summer months, if you're looking for a very light jacket to put on, where you want sort of a bit of protection from the elements, but you don't want to overheat too much, this is the one to go for, because it also has the underarm Ouch, don't catch yourself in it as you do it up like I just did. It has the underarm zip here to allow great ventilation. The, uh, the great thing about it, as I said, it's shower proof. So if you do get a bang down of rain, you can put up the hood, which is contained in the collar here, and I'll put it up and I'll show you in a second. Put up the hood, and do you know what? It will protect you to a degree. Now, it's not designed as a waterproof garment. It's not waterproof. It is only showerproof, but it stands up to some amount of water being put on it. Uh, I've tested this out, and I've been out walking for one and a half hours in fairly shitty weather. And I have to say, I came home, and the majority of me was dry underneath, and I was quite surprised at that, because as I said, it's only showerproof. It's not meant to repel that kind of level of water I was walking in. In winter, this is a great over jacket. Now, we've also reviewed a garment, the Alpha jacket, which you'll remember. Uh, if you haven't seen it, there'll be a link at the end of this, this video. Uh, go and have a look. The Alpha jacket underneath this one is fantastic. Now, the Alpha jacket is that grid line fleeced 
tight fitting jacket that's designed to be worn as a very casual piece or as, a, as part of a, a layering system. Now, my local gun club that I'm a member of is up in the hills, up in the mountains, and it's freezing. In the summertime, it's freezing. In the wintertime, it's Baltic. The great thing about it is I can wear the outfit underneath this particular model. And when I do, I get this really, really good piece of insulation through the main trunk of my body. And when I'm up in really cold temperatures, I'm talking about down to pretty much zero, my hands are cold, my head's cold, my face is cold but my whole body here is kept very stable, very warm, and that is a big win for me. So as I said, it does have a jacket. You can just unzip the hood here, take it out, and it just comes out with a great peak here. Now, if it's really chucking it down on you, which sometimes it does, it has these two cords that actually go into your pockets, and you can just give them a tug, and everything tightens up to lock in onto your face. So all in all, uh, a handy little sort of extra that will sort of help you in bad weather. And again, I've used it, I've tried it, and it has kept me dry in some pretty miserable conditions. So that's a quick look at the Trooper jacket. The thing we have always loved about Helicon on this channel is, A, the quality of the garment is superb. The manufacture of the garment is always superb. And at the end of the day, the price has always been affordable for the average Joe. It's not like some of these jackets that are Tailing. Same quality for over 250 uh, euro or 250 dollars. He's coming around 40 to 50 euro. Um, so they're as cheap as, as you're going to get, but you're not going to match the quality anywhere. And I don't care what anybody says on that. I've yet to have any of my Helicon range fail in either their stitching or fabric. I found the quality and the quality control from their factory is second to none it's top notch so big thanks to helicon for sending me such a cool jacket you won't see me wearing this airsoft in any time soon because to be honest with you i'm wearing it absolutely every day going to work going out to the pub wherever i'm going this is on me i'm not taking it off i love it and i have to say if you want something that's for outdoor use or outdoor wear and you want something that's going to give you a little bit you know sort of a, a stylish look and keep you comfortable Certainly have a look at this. If you're looking to get that real contractor look for your airsoft, check out the full range. They do, uh, as I said, a myriad of colors and something will suit you. Certainly worth a look. How you doing guys? Right, this is the Trooper jacket. You've already seen Jerry talk about his one. He's got his in black. This color is alpha green. I'm not sure what other colors is available in Jer. You know yourself? Foliage, alpha green, tan, black, pink, yellow, polka dots. No, I don't know. Yeah, loads of colors anyway. And the great thing about this jacket is it's also available in sizes up to 3XL, which is great for us bigger guys. Anyway, uh, my take on it. Another typical Helicon product. Absolutely superb quality. The way it's put together, the materials used, absolutely incredible. I've been potting around the garden today. It's uh, early November, chilly day, probably six, seven degrees, something like that. Uh, I'm just wearing a single base layer, thermal base layer, and this. Just moving around, I've been plenty warm today. Okay, the sun was out earlier, but you know, it's still a chilly day and I've been perfectly comfortable in this. I can definitely see myself wearing this, uh, airsofting or shooting um, from now through to spring. It really is a very, very nice piece indeed. Has all the usual Helicon uh, trademarks, you know, Velcro patches, pockets, you know, where you need them. Um, but as I say, the quality is absolutely superb. Uh, a couple of the early, very early Helicon pieces I had, I wasn't too convinced on the, uh, the Velcro fixtures on the cuffs, but they the last few jackets have been absolutely superb. I really have to hand it to Helicon, they do it very, very well, and as always, all the zips are YKK. Um, love it. Uh, my problem is now that there are so many good Helicon, Helicon jackets out there, which one am I going to wear on any given day? So, uh, tremendous piece. Um, lots of really nice features. I love the way that the neck is very, very high, but still soft enough to be comfortable. So you can zip it all the way up on a really cold, frosty day and still maintain a good thermal seal. Uh, same with the, the bottom, the hem on the bottom. Uh, they have bungee pull cords to, to pull it all in, keep a good uh, thermal seal. Absolutely amazing. I love the colour. L absolutely love this colour. Uh, lovely, nice, muted green is going to fit in well with an awful lot of sights that I play at. So that's my take on the Trooper. Thumbs up, Helicon. Another quick point on this jacket. A lot of soft shells I've seen in the past, they, yes, they have to be made out of nylon to give you that, some sort of water resistance and windproofness, but they've been too nylon-y. What I love about this is that it feels 
closer to a cotton. Now, don't don't get me wrong; it still feels synthetic, but the look and feel is more like cotton. So, I I think it's going to be more comfortable to wear than some of the older um, windproof type jackets that we've seen. So, uh, well done, Helicon. Big thanks to uh, to Helicon again, and uh, we'll see you soon.